A great philosopher once said, human beings are divided into mind and body. The mind devotes itself to all the nobler aspirations like poetry and philosophy, but the body has all the fun. Of course, he was dead when he said this, so his perspective may have been a bit clouded. Still, makes you think. You ready? What on earth is that? 
just trying to create the right atmosphere, Mr. Backhouse, a perfect environment for our seance tonight. Nature is one thing, madam. Art is quite another. What does that mean? I don't know, but it sounds quite mysterious. And this is not a seance. I am no fortune teller. Of course, I meant no disrespect. Where have you brought me this time, Sarah? It's a surprise. I hate surprises. Oh, come on, just watch. You might learn something. So, are we to see wonders tonight? Will I see my husband again? I dream with open eyes and others see my dreams. That is all. He certainly is odd. Eccentric, dear. He's not like regular people. He has a gift. Oh. Did you bring the offering? Of course. Darling? Hmm? The money? This better be worth it. Here. I want to see my husband. I'm sure he'll do his best. Please, sit. These fools, they think they know it all. They think they've got it all worked out as they drift through life without a doubt. So civilized and self assured, their social station well in north. Their petty little jabs and jibes, their gossiping and diatribes, compelled by greed and politics and economic Bolsheviks. With horoscopes and yoga farms, with blues, guys, and crystal jars, they think this place in fakery and phony homeopathy. A gluten free philosophy of trampled regrets. Living life on credit, feeding people meat to pets. Look at these clowns, they think they have it all. With their meditations and retreats, and pithy perspicacious tweets, and all the wisdom of Tibet now free upon the internet. Virtues and hypocrisies, duplicitous bureaucracies, the demagogues and demigods and propaganda slander frauds. Yet all the time they know deep down that something isn't right. Things are so black and white, and they come to the terrifying insight that they're living a pretend life. So here they are, looking for something more. In the great beyond, hoping I can correspond with spirits who will guide their way, help them navigate the blade that is their poor misguided lives, their pointless, futile, wasted lives. And with my humble skills on hand, give them a glimpse of wonderland, of what it's like beyond the veil, where life and death no more prevail, where spirits rise up from the earth, out of the ether, giving birth to a being now made manifest, a living transcendental guest upon this couch within this room, a creature summoned from the tomb. A proof that there is more to life than TV sports and a step with wife An ancient god Dionysian but from the shores of Elysium Because all this time you know deep down that something isn't right Things are so black and white And they come to the terrifying inside That they're living a pretend life Look at these fools <laughs> Okay, bye honey, love you <laughs> Who are you? Where have you come from? Aha! I see we have a little visitor here. You do not belong here. Who are you? Be careful what you're doing there. What's the matter, Spirit Usher? Am I spoiling your performance? Ha! Who the hell are you? Why did you kill him? Kill who? One cannot kill what doesn't exist. I... I don't understand. Ah, no, but you would like to, yes? Sarah? Sarah, do you know this man? Yes. We've met before. His name is Craig. Yes, Sarah. Tell me, still that same old gnawing hunger, that yearning to know the truth? What is it you propose? An adventure! Serto has gone. We must find him. Wait, wait. Serto? Wasn't he the bad guy in the third Thor movie? The one with the eyebrows? Or... Different Serto. Meet me tonight at the old observatory. Our journey begins there. Everyone's name is I. And every eye is a manifest lie. Um, what 
journey. What was he talking about? Who was that? Oh, he's an old friend. He's a homicidal lunatic. That may be, but for what it's worth, I've never known him to lie. You're not seriously considering this. And what's with the hat? What, you don't like it? No. Oh, okay. Well, you got anything better to do? Yes, I'm... I'm halfway through binge watching Game of Thrones for the third time. <laughs> hey, 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 Just because it's got dragons doesn't mean it's not serious. Truly a life well lived. Yeah, well, it's more fun than that stupid seance you dragged me to. What the hell was that about anyway? You're so full of questions. I just thought maybe Craig could provide some answers. <laughs> so this, so this was a setup. More like an intervention. I can make my own choices. Thank you very much. Then choose already. Don't rush me. So you want to learn the secret? What are you doing? The secret to life. You want to learn the unencumbered truth. Well, it won't come from mystics or Hollywood fables. And it won't come from books or Algonquin round tables. It comes from within, from deep down inside. Whether to look only you can decide But come what may, I'll be with you Stop. Every step of the way Come on, give it a go! It's true, I've been searching for something more Something that's just out of reach The answer to a question that hasn't been posed The feeling that all of the doors have been closed I sit in a darkened room Seeking the light Navigate in the gloom The journey of a lifetime Begins with a single step You just Sarah, have to Sarah, take stop. a chance stop. And join the mortal dance And back to three and four to three And back to three and I do not dance. Oh, come on, no one's watching. I just want answers, I just want to know. Is there more to this life than what I see? Is there some higher purpose awaiting me? Or is it all a lie? We're born, we live, we die. And that's it, there's nothing more. We never get to see beyond the door Do you hear that, my friend? The drums are calling It's the sound of searchers' wealth Do we answer the call? Or do we dare presume? Or do we stay content in our darkened room? Hey, 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 what are you doing? Stop, stop, Sarah! Let's go. Okay, look. Well, one, two, three. Sarah, Sarah, now. How about a shimmy? I'll give you a shimmy. <laughs> there you go. You know what? You're right. <laughs> Who am I to turn my back on a chance at revelation? An educational vacation. For you are a man. And that plan is to learn all I can after all Of what life is really about To topple any doubt So you want to learn the secret sure The secret to life You want to learn the unencumbered truth well, it won't come from mystics or Hollywood fables And it won't come from books or Algonquin round tables The date is set, the die is cast We cross the ruby come at last And come what may, I'll be with you Every step of the way Every step of the way I told you I don't dance, Sarah. <laughs>
So, is this the place? Yeah. Now we must wait for Craig. And where exactly is he planning on taking us? I think it's better if Craig explains that part. <laughs> you don't know, do you? We're going to Crystalman's country. Crystalman's country? Where's that? Somewhere in Africa or...? A bit further north. So, so, so who's this Crystalman guy? I thought we were looking for Sutra. Surta. Whatever. Crystalman is the angel of death. <laughs> is that his handle? In a metal band or something? No. Can you just give me a straight answer, I Sarah? I am giving you straight answers. You just don't understand them yet. Uh, perhaps Craig can explain a little better. Good, you can. Craig, Serafina is making no sense. Where exactly are you planning on taking us? Exactly. There. To the planet of Tormance in the Arcturus system. To another planet? Yes. What, do you have a spaceship or something, mate? Yes. You can't be serious. That is where Serto has gone, so that is where we must go if we are to find him. And the answers you seek. You're mad, mate. He's mad. You're both mad! <laughs> One man's insanity is another man's insight. <laughs> However, I can see you need some convincing, so here. Take this. What is it? It's just a crystal, it won't hurt you, but be careful, it is heavy. Oh. <laughs> I said it was heavy. Now hold it to your eye, and look. See? Huh. Ingenious. So, so, so that's torment. Our destination. And why is it called Crystalman's Country? Well, that is what I hope you will discover. If you are strong enough to bear it, that is. Wait a sec, are you... are you testing me? Oh, but of course! Oh, but then if you're scared... I mean, if you'd rather stay here on this obtuse little planet where it's... with its dogma and its superstitions, where it's safe and it's I quiet. know what you're doing. Is it working? I'm not afraid. Ha <laughs> ha! I told you he was the one, Sarah, he may go all the way yet. Between time and space, there is a place where anything can happen Where the speed of light has lost its bite And destinies that happen Where everything you think you know Demands a second look Nothing will be what it seems And all your preconceptions are mistook Cause you'll be walking in another man's shoes with another man's face, another man's place, doing what another man does. Walking in another man's shoes, trying out another man's life, sharing and caring and wearing his clothes, daring to swear on another man's nose, paying another man's dues. We'll travel in a crystal ship on our voyage. To the stars A pair of suns will light our way To the planet of avatars No longer will you gaze in awe Shadows on the wall You'll see the world for what it is Or isn't Once and for all Cause you'll be walking in another man's shoes Playing his part as you follow his heart Another man's cues. What do you mean by this crag? You make it sound like I won't be myself on this journey? Oh, or... you must assuredly be yourself, young man. But you'll be someone else as well. It doesn't make sense. You're talking in riddles. Life is a riddle. That is why you must take this journey. I just want answers, mate. Ah, well, I can guarantee you that. Answers in abundance. Are you still game? Yeah. Bring it on. Ha <laughs> Oh my. Walking in another man's shoes. Crying his tears, fearing his fears. Learning the lessons that cannot be learned. By reading a book, they have to be earned. Living the life that society rules. Choosing a choice you don't normally choose. Thinking a thought that can found and confuse. Knowing if you will most probably lose But seeing existence in all of us 
Why am I so heavy? Why, why am I so heavy? What the hell happened to my clothes? Right? Sarah, where on earth am I? Oh, that's right. What happens now? We watch and wait. Ah! What the hell is this? What's happened to my head? Oh, it feels all squishy. Where have they gone? They've left me for dead. Something is definitely fishy. I can't even stand on this alien world. Everything's creepy and weird. Like I'm hearing the trees whisper in my ear. No way. Is this thing on my head right here? I can hear and I feel the wind in the leaves and the strange new colors I've never seen before. What is this thing? It's a brief. It's used to read the thoughts of another, even the trees. Who, who, who are you? I am Joywind. Here, I have brought you this. Where am I? The land of pulling dread on the planet of torments. And you have come from the land of Australia. How do you know that? I can read your thoughts. Your name is Maskell and your home is called Earth. I came with uh, two others on a spacecraft. Have you seen them? No, there is only you. I would have sensed them otherwise. <laughs> then I'm alone on an alien planet with, with no way home. You are not alone. I am with you. Yes, that's something at least. Now, we must exchange blood. Wait, what? Your blood is far too thick and heavy for this world. Without a transfusion of mine, you will never get up. Are you sure you know what you're doing? Trust me. Give me your arm. Come on. Oh! Ah, is that stone sanitary? I offer you all my blood. I give it to you freely. This is no sacrifice. I offer you all my love. There's nothing to it really. This is no sacrifice. For the world is full of life, and all of life is precious. From every creature down to every tree. And in a world so full of life, what creature born of precious souls may have the right to end it recklessly? Pass. Tell me, Masco, why have you come? I came to find Surta. Do you know him? Yes, though here we call him by another name. Shaping. Who is he? He is our creator. Something like the one you call God. <laughs> Great, so I've come all this way to find God. I could have done that back on Earth. You are an impulsive man, Masco. Yeah, that's true still. Nothing ventured. <laughs> Nothing gained. Hey, hey. You should eat. We do not eat. You must eat something. We drink only water. To eat another creature is cruel and selfish. There is a well nearby. We will drink there. Right. 
You offered me your blood You gave it to me freely A selfless sacrifice You offered me your love As if it were just a merely A way of being nice This world is full of life I can feel it in my skin Thanks to this wondrous new organ on my head And in a world so full of life It makes me feel deep down within A strange indifference for the world from which I fled You offer me your heart Bestowing sincerely The gift of paradise you say you love me, you barely know me Yet you offer me the gift of life Say it is no sacrifice Your heart's as pure as the milky white you bleed This is a truly wondrous world Is that? This is shaping the one you call Surtur, the one you came to find. It's just a statue. You see only the form, not the spirit. Oh, I don't really do that whole praying thing. Could maybe you pray for me? I think it'll carry a little bit more weight coming from you. <laughs> what do you wish for? I wish to understand. Strange. Most people wish for health, happiness, or love. Oh, I mean, that too. If he's got time, looks like a busy man. <laughs> Noble shaping. Maskell has come to us weighed down with heavy blood. He wishes to understand. Let him know love and find happiness in the suffering of this world. Breathe into him a noble soul. We may drink now. <coughs> oh God, what's in that stuff? It's Nile water, shaping's gift to us. It's all we need to sustain ourselves. If it were not for Crag, this would be a perfect world. Wait, sorry, Cra Crag? Yes, the author of evil and misery, uh, the one you call devil. Oh. Do you know him? Nah, I never met the guy. Come, my husband is anxious to meet you. Oh, you're, you're married. Are you disappointed? <laughs> you will like him, he is also a bad liar. She seems nice. Weird, but nice. Maybe this won't be so bad after all. Give it time. What have you got planned? <laughs> Crag. <laughs> Crag, you're not really the devil, are you? <coughs> Maskell, this is my husband, Panaway. G'day, mate. How are you? All right, then. <laughs> this is nice. <laughs> it's been a long day, so... A really long day. Really long hug, too, so... A bit uncomfortable, actually. Welcome to our home, Maskell. It's an honour to meet you. Yeah, you too. Nice place you got here. Very cavey, I like it. Is that... Is that an emerald? They come out of my husband. It is an overflowing of beauty. They're mere leavings. To think of them as more is vanity. 
Can I keep it? If you wish. You must excuse me. I need to rest. You've done a great thing today. I'm very proud of you. Will she be all right? Do not feel guilty. Love flows in her veins instead of blood. And this love now flows in your veins. It will help you on your journey. Are you... Are you reading my mind? Just a little. It's hard not to. You're so open. You wish to find shaping, do you not? Well, I mean, that was the plan, but... I'm not so sure anymore. You're welcome to stay here. I mean, we live a simple life, but we're happy. Yeah, but what about this crag fella? What about him? I mean, Joywin said he was the author of evil and misery in this world. That's pretty heavy. <sighs> My wife is fortunate to have seen little of this world. She remains pure <sighs> and innocent. Yeah, she also said you were a bad liar, mate. Well, she's right, of course. To her, all my stories are lies, mere inventions. But perhaps you will think differently. And if you wish to go on, you ought to know something of this world that lies ahead. My earliest recollection is of being taken as a child by my parents to see Brood Voile, the wisest man in torments. <laughs> He dwelt in the great Wombflash forest, several days' journey from our home. On the way, we passed the sinking sea. Across the waters lay Swaylone's island. My father said it was dangerous to go there. Many had tried, but none ever returned alive. Now we found Broodfoil in a miry pit in the forest. He was a big, gnarled, rugged, wrinkled, sturdy old man who saw and heard everything. He said, to lie is to sleep, to sit is to dream, to stand is to think. What does that mean? Well, I honestly don't know, but it seemed important at the time. It was then that I realized why we had made this journey. I was still without sex, and my parents were worried about this. Bruvoyle said to them, Every man and woman is a murderer. We subdue our inner sibling to define who we are. In this child, the struggle still continues. The battle is not yet won. Then he turned to me and said, Direct your will to the scene of combat. Choose. Do you want to be a man or a woman? You want to be a man, don't you? My father said, Then I would be slaying your daughter. Choose to be a woman, my mother said. Would you have me slay your son? But Broodvoil saw what would become of this. Before you arrive home, he told my parents, the child will be a boy. And he was right, for you see, my sister was stronger than me. She sacrificed herself so I could live. The stain of this afflicts me every day. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, no, you're right, man. Don't worry about it. Years later, as I journeyed to my mother's homeland, I came upon the mountains of Ifton Marest and became lost in its maze. I wandered its halls for several weeks until I came upon the grim sight of a man in torment. Suspended above a treacherous cliff by some invisible force. Who are you? I asked. And how have you come to this terrible fate? He smiled and said, I am Muir Maker. 
My brother and I fell out over a woman, so he holds me here through strength of will, suspended by his pleasure. But when he tires, I will drop into the depths and surely die. Had it been another man, I would have tried to save him. But Muirmaker was known to me. He delighted in tormenting and murdering others. So I left him there and did not pause again that day. You take my story as you will, but you should know that life here on Torments is a constant test. If you wish to go on, well, at least you'll be better prepared for this world than I was. Between time and space there is a place where anything can happen Where the speed of light has lost its bite and destinies are tapping Where everything you think you know demands a second look Nothing will be what it seems and all your preconceptions are mistook I'll be walking in another man's shoes I'll follow his path wherever it leads <laughs> What have I got to lose? Joy wins. Are you all right? Yes, thank you. Tell me, Drewind, what's the name of those mountains over there? That is Ifdon Marist. Are you leaving us then? Look, there's a reason I came here and it wasn't to stay with you. As tempting as that is, I want to explore this world of yours. I want to learn everything I can about it. You may learn more than you wish to know. Perhaps I'll return one day. I'll certainly try to. Promise me something. Yeah? That you will not kill nor eat any living creature in your travels. Let me promise you this instead. I will not raise my hand against another living creature without first recalling you. You, dear joy, winds will be my conscience and my guide. Your blood flows in my veins And your love forever stains in my heart You are a part of me Oh, even Panaway doesn't kiss me like that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Joe Wind. And goodbye. Just a little while I've loved you just a day Yet your blood flows in my veins A heavy blood that chains my heart You are a part of me
far so good. This is easy. Oh, that was just the first part. We haven't got to the fun stuff yet. Oh, you're not going to hurt him, are you? One learns nothing without a little pain. G'day. Um, hello. Madam? Are you even alive? Who are you? Uh, Maskell. What do you want? Right now, not to die. God, is that how you greet everyone? Yes. You must not have many friends then. Well, it's your own fault for waking me. Yeah, right. So, what's your name? None of your business. I told you mine. Oshiax. Oshiax. It's a bit exotic. How do you spell that? Is that O-C-E or O-S-H? Or are you reading my mind right now? What? Nothing. Um, do you come from Ifdorn? Because that's where I'm headed. I thought maybe we could travel together. Well, you thought wrong. Hey, what's that? What's that on your head? It doesn't look like a breathe. Why would I have a breathe oh, okay, as a thought, okay, you idiot? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm new around here. There's no need to be, to be rude about it. Yeah, no kidding. If I thought you were a man... Maybe I would take you as a lover, but um, dressed like that, who can tell? What's, what's wrong with my clothes? Oh, you're wearing a dress. It's a sarong thing that doesn't really fit my hips, so it's a bit difficult, but... This is a man's country. Show yourself an ifdorn looking like that, you'll be dead within the hour. What should I do then? Don't ask me. Why should I care what happens to you? I don't know, because you... <clears throat> find me attractive and want to take me as your lover? You are big, I'll give you that. Thank you. I think. Here. Hold this till you breathe and with any luck it'll change into something more useful. Now leave me alone! All right. Keep it down! Oh, oh, oh. What did she do to him? I'll leave him alone, will you? If you keep coddling him like this, he'll never learn anything. Oh, I just hate seeing him in pain. Do you want to end this? Because it's going to get a lot worse before we're done. No, this is why we came after all. All right then. <laughs> Wake up. Oh. <sighs> Looks like it worked. What do you mean? Oh! Get changed. Can you turn around, please? Why? Please. Are you hungry? It depends what you had in mind. Ah, oh, you came through pooling dread, didn't you? Yep. They think life is to be looked at, not lived. Now that you're an if dawn, you'll have to change your notions. Uh, you can turn around now. Well, that's better. You look like a man. Mm. Now, give me that. That. Like this? Oh, 
How did you do that? I sobbed it. You what? I willed for it to do my bidding, which in this case was to uh, leap from the earth and die. So it's like the Force. What are you talking about? From, from Star Wars? Good film. <clears throat> Thought you were hungry. Forgive me, Joywind. Who's Joywind? Just uh, someone I met in Pool and Dread. This is, this is good. It's Ragnapol. Mm. Is there any more? Yeah. Can I sorb them? Sure, with a bit of practice. Oh, can, can you teach me? Yes. To sob another creature is to drink at the well of life. It sharpens your perception like a whetstone to a knife. To sob another creature is to eat from their zest. It strengthens and invigorates, puts a fire in the breast. All things must die so that others can live. Some others take while others must give. That's just how. Get up, stand there, look under the water. There's another Ragnapol under there. Can you feel it? Uh, not really, no. Trust me, it's there. Use your willpower to draw it out. Think the creature is a light. Life is a struggle. It's kill or be killed. It may be unpleasant, but it's also a thrill. It's your will against this. try though you have talent of course uh, the real test will be when you face off against another man oh, you're, you're telling me you saw about other people not just animals of course that's the point but they don't always die sometimes it's more useful to uh, keep them enthralled I'll show you Wait, 
you mean we're going to ride that thing? Well, would you rather walk? It's a long way to Ifton and very treacherous. You'd have to go through the maze. Yeah, but is it friendly and safe? As long as it remains under my thrall, it's quite safe. You're not scared, are you? Damn it. Good. I want you to meet my husband, Crimtifon. Oh, you're married? Yes, you're going to kill him for me. What? Hold on. Oh. Some things to live, it means others must die. The simple laws of a nature apply. That's just how it is in shaping the world. Everything comes at a price or at a cost to be prepared. is insane. She wants me to kill her husband just like that. So I must admit she's sexy, which goes somewhere to explain what the hell I'm doing on this giant fighting rat. Everything is simpler up here. And the world's so much clearer and far more severe. And it's real, so very real. And I feel so alive. I have to surrender, try not to offend her in order to survive. <laughs> this world's a roller coaster, a terrifying ride. Gotta hold her tight, make it through the maze. Her bow with all she has to guide me, though it may be suicide. She has me strange and not in face. Everything is simpler from here. The world is so much clearer, and there's nothing to fear. And it's real, so very real. And I feel so alive. I have to surrender, try not to offend. Admit my attraction, but hide my erection Secretly question my every intention In order to survive Whoa! Just so you know, I am not killing your husband for you <sighs> Wait till you meet him. Perhaps you'll change your mind. Husband? Wife. How's your plant man getting on? Answer your mistress, Feichua. <laughs> Getting on fine, my lady. My roots so well established, and soon my head will turn into a crown. I'm getting on fine, my lady. Within the month, I'll start bearing fruit for you both to enjoy. It is my to serve you in whatever way you will I only pray that my harvest will flourish and fulfill I do love these natural experiments they're so educational who would have thought turning a man into a tree would be so much fun don't you agree Feijo Yes, my lord. I am grateful to have this opportunity. It's a fascinating thing to bend the laws of nature. I wonder just how far I can go. Turn a man into a tree. Maybe next I'll turn a woman into stone. Would you like that, my dear? I could add you to my garden Then we'd always be together As your arteries and muscles slowly harden He's a monster And yet, he is my husband Hey, uh, Crimptophon, is it? 
What gives you the right to turn a man into a tree or a woman into stone? A new pet, my love? Oh, he's more than that. Large, isn't he? <coughs> Wherever did you find him? <coughs> Let me go. You, I shall turn into a pillar. A tall, stupid block of marble. And there's nothing you can do about it. With every failed champion you bring me, my garden grows more beautiful. I'm running out of room. Perhaps this one will surprise you. You see, he's not from around here, and uh, his will is strong. Oh, Shax, help me. No! 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 What just, what just happened? You sobbed him to death. Well done. You, you used me. I didn't realize how cold-blooded you were until now. You're very quick to judge, Maskell. You're the one who called him a monster having just met the man. I didn't mean to kill him. <sighs> Don't beat yourself up about it. Here there is no right or wrong. There is just win or lose. Besides, you enjoyed taking a life. Admit it, you enjoyed it. Everything is simpler up here. The world is so much clearer and far more severe. And it's real. So very real And I feel so ashamed We so blindly surrender To our basis of natures In order to survive That's what keeps us alive Even a life as abject as mine It's a life that goes on living but soon my head will turn into a crowd My branches will spread And my leaves will turn brown And my fruit will be yours to enjoy And the life that I am will pass on to you I pray that my harvest will comfort and renew Maskell, he's happy. His life has purpose. What about your husband, Oshax? Do you feel nothing? You think I ought to show grief when I feel none? <gasps> Perhaps you're the real monster. Well, at least I'm not a hypocrite. You come here with your foreign preconceptions, expecting us all to bow down to them. Just because Kuntafon sports are strange <gasps> to you. You call this cruelty You sport. murder him and now you would like to murder me. Who are you to say what's right or wrong with your moral codes? Life is a life all the world over And one form's as good as another So venture is made a tree Like a million other trees If they can endure such a life Why can't he? What about you, huh? He would have turned you into stone But he didn't, thanks to you there's still time. Tideman! Who's she? Crimpton's other wife. Other wife? With that haircut? She is the most dangerous woman. Be careful what you say. She looks harmless enough. Trust me, she is quite capable of swallowing up Crag himself. Now be a man! Who killed him? Who killed him? Who killed him? I killed him. No, no, I, I killed Crimpton. I sobbed him to do it. He's not I responsible. I did it of my own free will. Oshiax had no hand in it. And he's better off dead, in my opinion. You didn't even know him. 
Still, I don't blame you. Willingly or not, you were just a tool of her malice. Did it not occur to you that I would find you out? Crimtophon never loved you. He would have made a footstool of you if I'd asked him to. He worshipped me and he laughed at you. He thought you were ugly, old and ugly. And yet I remained his wife. Not anymore, because he's dead and that's the end of it. What are you going to do now, Titan? What are you going to do now? No man would want you. You're old, ugly and alone. Even Maskell here has more sense than that. Yeah. <laughs> Perhaps you are right. Do me a favour, dear. Would you go on ahead to my home and wait for me there? Maskell and I will be along soon. No tricks. Of course not. Oh, she acts. It's that way, that way, that way, that way. Of course. Hey. Oh, she acts. Oh, she acts. What do you. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you do that? She was innocent. Hardly. Now you're guilty of two deaths, for none of this would have happened if you hadn't come. Pick up my husband for me. We will take him home. Oshiax tried to protect you in the end. Perhaps she felt something for you after all. Yeah, well, doesn't matter now, does it? No. <laughs> What will you do? I have no choice. I shall become a tree. Well, that was fun. You really are the devil, aren't you? I'm not responsible for their actions. They still have free will. Really? I just set the scene. How they played is up to them. And what was that scene supposed to teach us? Oh, that which does not kill us makes us stronger. Come on, let's see what she does with him. And what about him? Oh, his fate is sealed. This world of yours is falling apart. Such is the way of things. Nothing lasts forever. Why do you live here then? Do you all have a death wish or something? Death awaits us no matter where we are. You're really a glass half empty type, aren't you? You're no different. You belong to shaping like the rest of us, unless you are a god. No. No, just a man. At least you are that. Tell me, Maskell, what do you think will become of you when you die? I, uh, I honestly don't know. I suspect there'll be nothing left of me but bones. There is more to you than that. And how do you know? I have seen it. How? Do you see that blue light? That is our pain, the second son of torments. How does it make you feel? Strange. Yes? Well, it makes me feel as if the only thing worth, worth living for is something worth dying for. You begin to understand. Understand what? That the fruit of the tree can only be born in suffering. God, really glass half empty. Our world has two suns, two powerful forces that pull at our hearts and our minds. One is called Branch Spell. The other our pain One is ferocious The other mundane But which one is which Depends on your view And what kind of life You wish to pursue The light of our pain Rises in the north A beacon of summoning blue
in our minds We're pulled this way and that By one or the other You don't even know it Until you discover The world that you knew It's like nothing you thought And the lessons you needed to learn Were not taught But that's how Before we enter, I have a favor to ask of you, Masco. I'm tired of being a woman in a world that squanders and exploits my sex. Surrender your body to me so that I may be a man. Oh, that's a pretty big favor, asking someone to die that so you can live in their place. You will not perish. It's just your body I need. You will go on living. Yeah, but I, I, I need my body. Life is not bound to a vessel. Even so, it is a heavy favor to ask. Will you do this for me? Do this for me. Of course. Me. I offer you my flesh. I give it to you freely. This is no sacrifice. It's just another mask. There's nothing to it really. This is no sacrifice It's just a favor A mere indulgence And I'm willing to give this gift of life to you Death comes to us all, Maskell But there is a joy in giving up freely what would otherwise be taken from us by force You are a noble being You can leave Crimtophon's body here. Take my hand. Put this on. Lie down. On. I haven't finished yet. What are you doing? Crack! What about crack? He's woken me up! You mean... I'm no longer under your thrall, witch, and now you died! What the hell was that? Had to step in. Can't have him die just yet. Oh, she is evil. Come on, Masco, kill the bitch! Wait, wait, please, please. Don't listen to her. I accept your judgment and I submit to it. Please, you have won. She is lying. Just kill her. Oh, but please let me bury my husband first. There is a lake of fire not far from here. Cast us both into the flames. 
That'll work. <laughs> Understand that this is not a murder. No. But an execution. It will taste the same either way. I begrudge no man his funeral. But if you try to enthrall me again, I will kill you on the spot. Damn right. I understand. Lead the way. I'm watching you. Our world has two suns, two powerful forces, each tugging at our hearts and our minds. We're pulled this way and that by the whim of shaping a perpetual struggle, no chance of escaping. Our bodies are weak and our minds even weaker. If we dare to speak out, then we silence the speaker. I am ready, Maskell. What are you doing? Turn around. Do you see that? I don't see anything. I'm not going to kill you, Tiderman. Why the change of heart? I made a promise to someone. And it's time I kept it. Now to get away from this, this poisonous place. How do I get out of here? Depends where you are going. North. Towards our pain. Head through the womb flash forest. Do you seek Muspel? Muspel? What's that? Just a name I have heard. A myth. A story. It lies to the north. Will you be all right? I am a woman. I will endure. Safe journey, Maskell. Why did you do that? The quality of mercy is... Oh, not don't start quoting Shakespeare at me. Revenge is a waste of time. Killing her would have solved nothing. Spoil sport. You think this is a game? This is a man's life. What's the difference? <sighs> Sarah! It was a joke. Sarah! Where's your sense of humour? There's a hole in my heart where I used to live Now ripped apart and given up Look what I've become There's a drum in my head where I used to think The world I fled was out of sync How could I be so dumb? And do I follow the drum? Something calls me Something out of this world Something twisted and curled In a knot like a Gordian tangle that can't be outdone A gathering faith that just can't be outrun Do I quit now while I still can? Or do I follow the drum? The beat sounds 
hides within me, without me, about me Entreats and competes for my mind and my heart Like a treacherous art with a clever conceit A conceit that's been eating away from the start And I can't make it stop or just leave me alone Cause it gets in my bones, tries to tear me apart But I started this journey with wide open eyes And the lies that began it no longer surprised me Cause everything dies, every life has an end, even mine I'm not invincible I can no longer pretend I once was a man with a plan Now that plan is gone I can't see the forest for the trees I can't even see the sky I'm lost in a world of absurdities And I can't even remember why no, I remember. There's a space in my mind where I used to dream that the daily grind and blind regime leaves you feeling numb. So you follow the drum. There's a place in the world where I used to go to learn what other people know. And that may work for some, but I choose to follow the drum. There's a space in my mind where I used to that the daily grind and blind regime leaves you feeling numb So you follow the drum There's a place in the world where I used to go To learn what other people know And that may work for some But I choose, 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 I choose Follow the drum.